Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Shravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. Today, in this video, we are going to learn and understand the determination of exchange rate in the spot market. We all know that the market where the exchange of currency takes place on the spot itself only or usually within two days is the spot market. Say for an example, you want to purchase one dollar. So you go to the foreign exchange market, you give some Indian rupees, instantly you will get the dollar. That market is the spot market. The exchange rate at which the transaction takes place is the spot price. Say for an example, you want to purchase one dollar. To purchase it, you are given 76 rupees. That 76 rupees is the spot rate. Now the question is, on what basis this spot rate has been determined? There are various models and theory to explain the determination of exchange rate in the spot market but a very simple model is based on the principle of equilibrium of demand and supply of foreign currency exchange rate according to this principle exchange rate in a free market is determined by the demand and supply of a foreign currency the equilibrium rate is a one where the demand and supply of foreign currency are equal. That means demand is also same and supply is also the same. At that rate where both are equal is the equilibrium exchange rate. Let us understand with an example by plotting graphically. Let x axis be the demand of a foreign currency say dollar on y axis be the rate of foreign currency say dollar we all know that as per the law of demand when everything kept constant when the demand increases the price decreases so that means the demand curve will always slope downward say for a quantity demanded 2, the price will be 10. If the demand increases to 4, the price will reduce to 6. If it further increases to 10, the price will further come down to 2. That means when the demand is increasing, the price is decreasing. That's why in the law of demand, the demand curve will always slope downwards from top to bottom. The same way in the supply curve, when the price increases, the supply also increases. That is why the supply curve will slope upwards. Say for the price 2, the supply is 2. If the price increases to 6, the supply also increases to 4. If it further increases to 10, the supply also increases to 10. That means the supply curve is moving upward. As the price is increasing, the supply is also increasing. The point where both the demand and the supply curve intersect is the equilibrium is the equilibrium the corresponding rate is the equilibrium rate this is how the exchange rate is determined in the spot market based on the demand and supply of foreign currency now the question is whether the price will always be in an equilibrium or stable? No, it will change whenever there is a change in the demand or 
whenever there is a change in the supply also first we'll go to the demand if there is any change in the demand whatever it may be whether it is an increase in the demand or decrease in the demand the exchange rate fluctuate let us see what will happen if the demand increases if the demand increases now our new demand curve will be above the original demand curve so that means now the new equilibrium point is this and the new price is this one now as per the law of demand we know that whenever there is an increase in the price the quantity demanded comes down the same way whenever there is a decrease in the price the quantity demanded increases here in this situation the price has increased so that means the quantity demanded will come down to the original point this is how the equilibrium will be achieved whenever there is a change in the demand that is an increase in the demand now if demand decreases what will happen to the exchange rate now the new demand curve will come that is which is below the original demand now the new equilibrium point is this point and the new price is this one that means a decrease in the price we all know that as per the law of demand whenever the price decreases the quantity demanded increases and whenever the price increases the quantity demanded decreases here in this case the price has decreased so that means the quantity has to move up so that means from this point again it will move up to the original equilibrium point so that means again the equilibrium status has been achieved this is how when there is a change in the demand that is decrease in the demand the equilibrium status will be achieved now we'll analyze what will happen if there is any change in the supply that is an increase in the supply or decrease in the supply first we'll go to increase in the supply whenever there is an increase in the supply a new supply curve will be there which is below the original supply curve this is the original supply curve now the new supply curve is this one which is below the original one now the new equilibrium point is this one now the price is this point that means the price has reduced as per the law of the demand whenever there is a reduction in the price supply also will reduce whenever there is a rise in the price supply will also increases here in this case the price has reduced that means supply will also reduce that means it will come down to the original point this is how an equilibrium status will be achieved whenever there is a change in the supply that is an increase in the supply now we'll understand what will happen if supply decreases whenever there is a decrease in the supply a new supply curve will be there which is above the original supply curve the original supply curve is this one and the new supply curve is this one now the new equilibrium point at this and the corresponding price is this that means the price has increased as per the law of the demand when price increases supply increases when price decreases supply also decreases here in this case the price has increased that means the supply has to increase from this point to this that means the supply curve will move to this that means again the equilibrium will be achieved whenever there is a supply curve decrease also this is how the exchange rate 
will be determined in the spot market thank you for watching this video on the determination of exchange rate in spot market we'll meet again until then thank you